When Eleanor Roosevelt became First Lady in 1933, she had a lesbian lover, Lorena Hickok, who was the most famous woman journalist of her day. Hi, my name is Terry Baum, and I am the writer and actress of the solo show Hick, A Love Story, The Romance of Lorena Hickok and Eleanor Roosevelt. Over the course of their love affair and their relationship, Eleanor wrote 2,336 letters to Hick. A lot of these letters make it very clear that they had a romantic and physical relationship. And I have based my solo show on quotes from those letters and from my research on the life of Hick and the life of Eleanor Roosevelt. This is a solo show. We see this thing from Hick's point of view. Play begins in 1968 with Hick, an old woman, after Eleanor has died, going through all the correspondence she's gotten from Eleanor because she has to decide whether to donate all these letters to the FDR library. And she knows when she does that she will be revealing their sexual relationship to the world. This story is such an important part of all our heritage, but especially for gay people, because the fact is that Eleanor Roosevelt, the greatest American woman of the 20th century, was nurtured as a public figure by her lover, a journalist, and supported emotionally through this incredible life of achievement. In fact, Hick had to give up her own destiny as a famous journalist in order to be the uh, confidant and supporter of Eleanor Roosevelt. This is a story that everyone needs to know. This play resonates today when we finally have gay marriage and people are coming out, but yet there's still so much homophobia in the country. To know that the first lady and a famous reporter had the courage to follow their passion and their happiness and have this incredible, intense relationship in the 30s and 40s and 50s. Please come see this absolutely amazing true story. It opens August 14th at the Fringe Festival.